Hello and welcome. This is Steve Sinise. We'll begin in Adamawa State where the Federal University of Wakari shut down earlier today after the abduction of a student will reopen in two weeks. The school's authorities believe the tense atmosphere at the institution would have doused by then. Will Abi Adenose compiled this report? Rampaging students at the school had led the authorities to fear the situation might get out of hand, especially when the student union raised concerns that the exams were only days away. Thief students have been having a series of meetings for the past two days. And just today, as early as uh, possible, around 7 to 8 a.m. in the morning, they gathered themselves and were protesting that one of them was kidnapped. So I'm talking to you, the school have not ascertained the student that was kidnapped. Neither did they ascertain the true nature of what really transpired. For the safety of the students in the school, it was best that a mid-term break, it's a mid-term break that was given for students to go and rest. A lot of students, their food stuff has finished everything. Go and rest and prepare and come back for exams. We are surprised that the chief student came out in mass this early morning to protest that one of the students died around Kasinala Road. And we, the Tarawa State student and the entire student, we haven't confirmed the, the student because we have not yet seen the ID card and the dead body. So it was just a protest. But this accusation is promptly denied by the institution. It was not on campus and it was not even anywhere near the vicinity of our campus. It was on a major highway. We are talking of the Wukari to Katsinaala to Makodi axis. He called on relevant authorities to do more in curbing insecurity in the country. Honestly, uh, there is no gain staying or denying the fact that the security situation, not only in Taraba, Benue, Axis, or in Wukari, in the whole nation is degenerating. We have to take concrete steps at addressing this. The registrar explains why the management decided to declare a compulsory two-week holiday. Peace to rain. In order not to create chaos, the Committee of Deans and Directors sat, deliberated, and approved that the university proceed on mid semester. But the closure of the institution is an art issue residents of Takum are not willing to accept. It can make us not to get something, doing our work normal like before. You understand? So, and even this, all these classes have. Here and there, we don't like it, talking about this school. For now, the students may have been sent home, but preventive measures must be put in place to ensure that the crisis is ultimately resolved.